Are you putting yourself down? Do you find yourself entertaining negative self-talk on a regular basis? My subscriber Anastasia brought to my attention her feelings of being too fat, too short, too old in the workplace and feeling as though it is a constant battle to compete at work with other women who are younger, thinner and taller. Thanks Anastasia for being vulnerable and submitting such an important question. Important because as a woman in business myself, I can reassure you that you are not alone. For those I have not introduced myself to yet, hi, my name is Sylvia Chosto. I am a keynote speaker, author and entrepreneur, passionate about connecting with and informing fellow business people about how to make show-stopping first impressions and informed business deals. Before we jump right into the question, be sure to stay connected with me by subscribing to my channel and by turning on post notifications to find out about new videos. Also be sure to connect with me wherever you enjoy hanging out beyond this platform and to stick uh, around until the end of the video for access to some of my free resources. Back to Anastasia's question. The unfortunate truth is that this is all too familiar. It is all too common to feel uncomfortable in your body and feel that it reflects into your work. Does this struggle hit home for you too? Many of my clients express this same sentiment, especially between the ages of 30 and 60, while our bodies are changing. Often with a changing body comes a shifted image of ourselves. And while it's not always easy to like every part of our bodies and looks, getting stuck on negative self-talk can bring down your self-esteem and confidence at any time, but in particular in group settings, when you feel watched and therefore judged. This can really bring down your self-esteem, but simply said, without self-esteem, you won't impress anyone, neither yourself nor others. Having a high self-esteem directly impacts how impressive we see someone. The most expensive designer clothes cannot make you look as good as elevated self-confidence. Since body image is a big part of self-esteem, the way in which you see yourself and describe yourself is more important than anything else. Accepting yourself the way you are, even if it does not fit into some ideal the media projects onto women. It is first important to recognize that your body is your own and whatever shape or size you are, it is perfect. Remember all the amazing things your body has done and still does for you. Maybe you have had a child, ran a marathon, or even just have the physical ability to get yourself to work and back every day. Never take your physical health for granted. Shift your thought patterns from what is wrong with your body to what is right about it. A good exercise to walk through here is to describe your body, for example, to me. But I only want to hear positives first. Take a moment right now. Maybe pause the video, look at yourself into the mirror and write down at least five positive body traits. Things you love about yourself. Do you have beautiful eyes? Strong legs? What is it you can see in a positive light? If you are having a hard time here, consider this statistic that researchers have found. You are 20% more beautiful to other people than to the person you see in that mirror every day. When you look into the mirror, you are only seeing your physical form. You are looking for the flaws. You are not seeing your magnetic personality, your amazing intellect, your fascinating life experiences, or your impressive achievements. But that's what we see, observing you. Now that you have identified five positive traits, how can these be highlighted to make you feel more confident? How can you, for example, dress to accentuate the things you love about yourself? You have a beautiful neck? What about cutting your hair so we can actually see it? You have a beautiful defined waist? What about wearing a big belt around your waist? Is it your long legs that you love? What about a pair of red pants to make sure everyone sees them too? Is it your wide and strong shoulders that make you feel great about yourself? What about a slim fitted jacket so we can see them even more? Again, pause the video now and right next to the five positive things you found about yourself, 
write one idea to highlight those areas. Once you come back, let's work on your flaws. Yes, I know, we all have our flaws. Even the most beautiful people have things they dislike about themselves. Our imperfections, however, are what makes us unique and original. So now I would like you to think of some things you don't like about yourself. And before you are quick to make a long, long list, I only want you to think of one to max of three. Now that you have your top insecurities written down, how can you change those things or camouflage them? For example, if you are self-conscious of your double chin, it's not a good idea to accentuate it with a necklace. The same goes for wearing a thick belt if you are self-conscious of your midsection. And please remember, when you are hard on yourself, you give others the invitation to be hard on you as well. When you honor and appreciate your body, age, gender or height, those around you will be more likely to see you in the way you want to be seen. If you are worried about your health though, related to your weight or size, that's a different story. Then you need to check with your doctor to verify that things are actually okay. You need to be healthy. That's most important. Other than that, you need to stop telling yourself you are too old, too short, too anything. You are who you are. The more you honor and appreciate your body, your age, your gender, the more likely it is you will attract positive, uplifting, successful and smart people in your life. Let's continue boosting your self-confidence and developing a strong sense of self with a free series I offer. 52 weeks of truth drops. By signing up for these free 5-minute reads, you will continue learning exactly how to shape your physical, social and online presence to encourage confidence and a positive body image for an entire year. Sign up by following the link below and as always like this video if you enjoyed it. Share this video with someone who you think could use a confidence boost too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Um, did I mention that you are perfect just the way you are? <laughs>